Hey, woodcutters, top saw here. Today I'm gonna to go over how to replace a table saw blade on a saw stop. It's pretty straightforward. And then just how to guarantee that break is gapped correctly, how a sharp blade should cut, and how a dull blade does cut, and why you would change the blade. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start with right here, you can see all of this burning on my old blade right here. We actually didn't run anything through it, but it's, uh, uh, I think a student got it bound and there's a lot of pitch on it and the burning of the pitch and it's just kind of go gooped up, including the teeth as well. Here's a piece of maple, rock maple. We'll just surface it first. You can see that. That clearly burnt. You can see on that maple, even with a nice clean push, uh, it's still burning. So I'm gonna replace the blade now. Very, very important before you replace the blade, you wanna turn it off and turn off the breaker down here and turn it off on the panel as well. Here's my new blade. This comes out. Magnetic door in here. Make sure there's no bevel. You bring the blade up a little higher. And then take out the splitter. Two attached wrenches. Turn the vac off so you don't drop the nut on the central vac system. These are compression washers. They're designed so under pressure they flex a little bit, and that's what stops the blade from spinning on the arbor. The blade could be brought down to a shop and sharpened. You could just see how dirty it is. New saw stop, 10-inch professional saw blade, 60 teeth, carbide tip. These are really nice blades, rotating towards me. Careful not to bang anything. Compression washer goes on. Tighten this up. Then you want to use a nickel and use it as a feeler gauge and check between the blade and the clutch and make sure it's the right gap. So you just want to use a nickel and check that gapping in there. Make sure that nut's on tight and the washers are in correctly. Put either the guard back in or the splitter back in. Clean all this area up and you'll see the difference with this new blade on. I know I said it earlier, but I'll say it again. Um, absolutely positively, make sure it's turned off at the breaker before your hands get anywhere near a cutter. Put the tools away and hang on the side of the saw. Blade height, yeah, this is it right here. Blade height a little bit above. Turn off the, bre turn the breaker back on. Turn the switch back on. Let it run a cycle. Getting a little narrow, so I need a push stick. Stand out of the way when I turn it on. You can just see how clean it is. You can see how clean it is, how clean that cut is. There's no burn marks, how easy it is to feed it through the table saw. Um, safety has to be job number one. If you like this video, hit like. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. This channel is all things wood, from tree work to woodwork. I do uh, tree work on the weekends, bring the logs into the high school wood shop where I work. We mill them out and build wood projects out of them. Thank you for watching.